Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. We're going to start with Pete Sweeney. Hey, Kingsley. Congratulations. Uh, welcome to Kansas City. Uh, was curious, just given that Andy Reid uses his offensive linemen in a lot of different ways, likes to get them out in space, especially really likes off, uh, athletic offensive linemen. How do you think you might fit uh, into the offense in, in the frame of that? Uh, I think I'm going to fit perfectly. Um, come in, um, you know, come in as a rookie and uh, get ready to work. Uh, wherever uh, Coach Heck needs me at and Coach Andy needs me at, um, I'm, I can play both ways, um, right and left. So wherever they can fit me in and get ready to work, uh, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to to get that job. So We'll go next to Sam McDowell. Hey, what's up, Kingsley? Uh, Sid, I'll have a couple things. Just what was your reaction to being drafted? Tell us kind of how your day unfolded. Um, Shoot. A lot of emotions, uh, a lot of crying. Um, it's just, uh, that waiting around period. I, I never knew uh, what um, all the boys meant by that waiting period until your phone gets called and it just feels like peace, like you can breathe again. So um, I was just waiting around and um, shoot, my agent texted me, say, hey, Chiefs just traded up. And I looked at my phone and next phone call I see, I was like, oh, no way. So uh, I was just, I just felt relieved and just crying a lot. Um, just a lot of just going back, like through memories of, you know, all the sacrifices everybody put in around the world, uh, around the room in my room that was uh, here um, in this conference room. So there's a lot of emotion, and, but so grateful um, and so ready to be a chief. So. Did you uh, have any indication that the, what was your level of indication for the chief's interest? Um, shoot. I knew I knew it was high. Um, I definitely knew it was high. Um, I did a lot of talking uh, with a lot of the coaches, and uh, I knew uh, whether it was that first round pick or whether it was later on. I just knew wherever um, I was going to get picked or chosen, that I was going. I was I was ready to work. Um, so um, just grateful um, that I was selected. Um, just barely. So uh, yeah, I'm just so excited, so hyped, and ready to go. Okay, we'll go next to Jesse. Hey, Kingsley, congratulations. I had a couple of things said, too. Um, I, I just wondered what uh, Andy Reid talked to you about with BYU and that connection. Uh, what, what were those conversations like? Cool, Coach Andy Reid, he, he loves his BYU guys. Um, just being able to talk, excuse me, with Coach Reid, um, it, it just felt like, it felt like home already. Um, it felt like sitting at home and um, just chilling with one of my uncles. And so um, it, it, it was so chill, it was so fun. Um, but, you know, he said, you know, we got a lot of ties, BYU, and, you know, I'm trying to get you here. Um, so from there, I, I already felt it around the whole facility, meeting all the coaches, um, just felt like home. So um, a lot of prayer and thought, but I, I knew deep down, that's why my grandma made all the lays, it's all red and gold. So we, we, we was ready to go. So, um, but yeah. Uh, did, did she have an idea it was coming then, the red and gold lays? Um, shoot, it was kind of up in the air, honestly, because then after that, uh, after the first round went over, I was like, okay, okay, this is the second round. So I was waiting, waiting, and then uh, the Chiefs was coming up. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's just like I just had that good feeling, um, just like I feel like I could start breathing again. So I just – it was it was crazy. I told my mom, I was like, I think I'm about to get a call. And then two seconds later, I get a call. I was like, yeah, it was, it was, very, it was very emotional, but so super stoked to be. And real quick, uh, I was reading up your family history. Can you name all your cousins that are in the NFL, or your family members that are in the NFL? Shoot, currently right now, um, so there's Pernay, um up at Detroit. Um, shoot, shout out Big Pernay, man. He, he making big moves right now. Um, and then uh, Cousin Noah, he's at um, Chicago Bears. And I got Nephi, he's at the Saints. And then got Puga, Big Books. He's at up at the Rams. But shoot, I had a bunch of family members that played in the league. Um, beforehand, um, so my uncle JT Mapu played, my uncle CJIU played, my grandpa played, um, junior IU, so it, it runs in the bloodline, um, it, it runs deep, so I'm um, just so grateful and blessed to be the next one up right now. Let's go next to Todd Lebo. Hey, Kingsley, uh, I wonder if you could just talk about what you know about the Chiefs. I don't know how much you watch NFL when you're busy during the college football season. It's probably hard to miss the Chiefs being in a couple of goals in a row. What's your excitement level of being part of this offense? True. The the way they run the ball, 
the way that Patty Mahomes blocking for Patty Mahomes himself. Oh my, uh, it, it, it's a, it's it's mind blowing. But you know, I'm gonna have to come in there and you know I'll let him trust me. Like I got you. You know, nobody gonna touch you. Even if we're in practice, nobody touching you. So, um, but the the ability that Pat, Patty Mahomes and just the uh, the weapons that we have on offense with Pacheco, with Travis, like. That's the dynamic trio. Huh? No duo, dynamic trio. Like that's everything you could ever ask for for blocking for a running back, blocking for tight end at receiving yards, um, and just blocking uh, blocking for uh, Patty Mahomes himself. So um, it's definitely a dream come true. But just willing to work, um, and uh, I feel like I'm on best fit in this offense uh, with the Y zone um, and the Chiefs. Uh, you know, Kansas, they they good. No, no they good about the uh, the um, barbecue food. Huh? They don't mess around down there. They don't mess around when I was down there. They don't mess around. So, um, so yeah, little little something, but also excited. It just it just felt like home when I landed there. So, uh, just so grateful. We'll go next to Nate Taylor. Uh, Kingsley, congratulations. Um, you play left tackle. Um, for the first time last year, just what did you learn about that experience and how much do you think uh, it would be a fun, you know, sort of opportunity to be that blindside protector for Mahomes? Sure. Uh, to block either side. Um, I, 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 Like I said, I can play both. I can play right side. I'm just as fluid as I play left. So, um, but if I do get the opportunity to be his blindside quarterback, shoot, that mean the world to me. Um, but um I'm just ready uh, to come in wherever I best fit on the team and uh, just get it rolling from there, uh, whether that is at left tackle, right tackle, guard, wherever it is. Um, but I'm just ready to work and uh, can't wait to to be uh, Patty Mahomes' left-hand man or right-hand man, whatever he would, or whatever one he needs. So I'm just ready to go. Let's go next to Nick Jacobs. And Sydney, I'll have a quick follow-up, please. Um, Kingsley, my first question for you is, who have been the in, most influential people in help making you the offensive lineman you are? Shoot. Big shout out to Cousin Panay. Uh, I wouldn't, the things that he's taught me um, after he won his Allen Trophy, even before he won the Allen Trophy, um, and now he's one of the best offensive tackles, or he's the best. It came out, he's the best offensive tackle in the league right now. So. Um, He's definitely a, a shout out to that guy. Um, my cousin uh, put in countless hours. Even now, he makes time to. He was trying to call me just barely. I just got drafted, so um, just uh, much love to that guy. Uh, I've learned a lot from him um, playing, being able to play right and left, and just how he sees the game, how the defense sees the game. He, he grabs a couple of his boys, so we can see both sides of the ball. So it's just a big blessing. Um, but I definitely say I wouldn't have been. Half the old lineman without him, um, and then my pops, um, my dad, he's not that, um, doesn't know that much about old line, but um, my dad was a safety in college, but my dad, you know, our work is what he instilled into me and my siblings. So um, just doing the best he could to find a different trainers, to find a different working out facilities that I could be the best. So I wouldn't be where I am today without my pops. And then lastly, what's your favorite block to execute and why? Hmm. I got to say, why zone cutoff? I ain't going to lie to you. A lot of uh, O-linemen, they, they, that's probably one of the hardest ones, trying to cut off that three-tech. But, uh, shoot, that's that's why I feel like I can thrive in. I, I'll, show, I'll show you. I'll get there. I, you think you're in the three? I'll get you. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, definitely that is definitely just wide zone, either backside or front side, just running off the ball, and be able to you know see that Nick Bosa out there. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there right at your point. You be there. That's your point. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you there. So the, either cutting off or going front side. So I'll say definitely wide zone. Last few. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah, I just had a, a quick follow up. Uh, just on on your draft day here today, who were you surrounded by when you got the news, and and what did it mean to you to be surrounded by uh, whoever it was? Yeah, so uh, I was surrounded by uh, so in the front it was just um, my intermediate family, my mom, my dad, my three sisters, and then uh, my uh, fiance was next to me, and then shoot behind me was the nation, the, the entire Samoan nation. Um, 
I got my grandparents from Hawaii that came down and a bunch of my family from Hawaii that came down. I got family from Idaho, from Montana. Um, so they all flew in, um, St. George, they all flew in, drove in. And a lot of people that are from here in Utah, um, my family that came down, all my mom's siblings, my dad's siblings. So the whole, the whole gang was there. So, um, it was definitely, um, you know, like I told, I talked to them after um, I got drafted, you know, the same day ones that was, uh, that was there from the beginning. So, and the, the same day ones that are here in front of me during this important day. So, um, just keep my circle small. And that was the same people that was there. So. Let's wrap it up with Sam McDowell. Yeah. I just wanted to know what, uh, you envision as your preparedness to play right away. What was that? What do you envision as your preparedness or just how ready are you to play right away if you have to do that? No, oh, I'm ready. Um, obviously got to come in and learn the playbook, um, but I'm ready to go. I'm healthy, strong, um, just ready to go. So just got to get that mental part in, get the playbook in, um, and then uh, shoot. I can't wait to get to know all the boys. That, that's that's what I'm excited for. Um, I was really hoping to see Patty Mahomes around the locker room when I was there in my 30, but didn't get to. Um, I got to see Big Chris Jones though, and then, but uh, shoot, it was, it was amazing. Um, it, it was a big blessing um, just to be there. But I'm I'm ready to go. Um, like I said, I can play left or right, and wherever uh, Coach Heck needs me, and wherever best fits for the team, that that's why I'm a I'm a balls to the wall every play. So um, I'm ready to go. What What was your conversation like with Chris? Did you talk to him much, or did you talk to any other guys while you were here? Yeah, so when I seen Chris, he uh, he asked um uh, shoot, he asked uh, the lady that was taking me around, he said, Hey, who that? Like who we cut in today? Like he thought I was already on the team. He's like, Who we cutting now? And then she was like, Oh no, this is uh he's on a 30 visit. And uh, she's like, He's from BYU. And he's like, Gosh damn, you're big. <laughs> Good, and he was like, How old you is? He, he was like, You like 26, 27? I was like, No, nah, I just turned 21. He's like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so just hearing that from Chris Jones himself, like this is Chris Jones, like the bear himself that walking around that kills all I'm in for a living. So uh, just being able to shake his hand and talk to him, chop it up for a little bit was pretty dope. So yeah, it was, it was super dope. That's great. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Kingsley, you did great. Thank you so much. Go enjoy Thanks, the rest man. of your night. Appreciate y'all. Go Chiefs. Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you.